So let's take a look at your plans drafts page and your program template page. We're going to click on the lightning bolt icon in the left navigation, and it will bring us automatically to our plans drafts page. You'll know that's where we're at because that tab over here is highlighted in purple, and we can switch to program templates by clicking on that tab. We're also in folder view currently, so we also have the option to switch over into list view by toggling between those icons there. So consider your plans drafts page as a staging area for plans that have yet to be assigned to a program template or to a client. So we haven't figured out what to do with them just yet. Uh, so this is where they'll sit until you assign them somewhere. So we can create a plan by clicking either here or over here. It's going to ask you to choose whichever variables you want to include and click OK. And then it will bring us to our plan builder. You're going to give your new plan a name. And then you'll see here it says saving. The really cool thing about Quick Coach is everything saves automatically. So you don't have to worry about your, your stuff getting lost or deleted. Uh, it'll automatically save. So if you were to click drafts here, you'll see that it's there. Uh, we also have the save as a draft button just to make us feel better, um, but you don't have to click it, but it's there if you if you want the extra assurance. Um, so once you've named your plan, I can and made any edits that you want to, you can click save as draft to leave it in your plans drafts folder, or you can click publish and assign it somewhere. So I can assign it to a template uh, or I can add it to as many clients as I want and then click publish and finish. So let's go back. I can also publish a plan by clicking on the three dots and click add to template or assign to clients. I'm going to add it to a template. Let's send it to a new awesome 12 week program, add to template. And you'll see that it disappeared, right? Uh, Cause now it has a home to go to. We can also delete plans by clicking on the trash icon there. Uh, let's take a look at program templates. So program templates are basically folders and you can designate these however you want. It could be that it's a 12 week program. It could be that you put all of your upper body workouts uh, in a folder or all of your recipe guides or however you want to do this. Uh, but they're, they're essentially folders that your plans go into to help keep things organized. Uh, so I added a plan in the new awesome 12 week program. Cause I am not good at coming up with names and you'll see here that I have two sections. So ready plans and draft plans. So ready plans. If I were to assign this program template to a client, it would only assign any plan that is under ready plans. Anything in drafts will not be sent over. Now, if I wanted to use this plan repeatedly, like if I was going to do progressive overload, for example, then I need to do it more than once. So what I'm going to do is click the checkbox and click copy, click OK, and you'll see it made a copy and it added it to my drafts plan because I may want to make some edits. Now, let's see, I can make another copy. Oh. Let's make some more copies because we're going to do this for a week, right? So I can make as many copies as I want and then go in with the pencil to make any edits and then click publish plan and it moves it there. And I would do that individually for each plan. Okay, let's do this other one that has a name too. Saving. There we go, publish plan. All right, so now we have several things in ready plans. Now, if you want to rearrange them, just click the, the side here and you can drag and drop wherever you want that plan to sit. Now, something else to note, and let me publish this and see if we can make this pop up. There we go. There's pagination, and so you may have to look at different pages to see all of your plans, or you can click see all and it will list out everything for you. You can also search for a plan. Oh, there we go. By just click uh, typing in the name up here. And then again, you can edit the name of the template by clicking edit template. You can also pull up the plan builder by clicking create a plan here. Uh, if we go back to program templates, right? 
Oops, there we go. Uh, now this, this program is ready. I can assign it, right? If I click here, I can either add a plan or assign it to a client. And then if I'm not going to use this anymore, I can simply delete. Now the templates, uh, program templates page can house up to 99 folders and unlimited plans. So you can create into your heart's desire, go wild and have fun.